Hey guys, Taxi here and welcome to the overview of patch 679. Now, the war within early access has just launched, so we don't have much time. We gotta go level quick as quick as possible. So let's get through this, shall we? Starting with the new features, we have introduced spec icon options for the game menu skin and the AFK skin. So if I open up my game menu, you can instantly see that instead of the old uh, spec icon, we have the new specialized icon. And of course, you have the option to customize it in uh, skins, game menu skin, and then spec icon style. So if you like to go back to the default one, you know, you can choose the class colored or the class colored with stroke. And of course, the same goes for the AFK screen, same icon. And in the same place, you can customize its spec icon style under AFK mode. Moving on, we have added more attribute icons to the armory. So previously, only these st stats had icons, but if we go to armory attributes and enable more icons, for example, spell power, you can see it now has an icon and is the same as the intellect. Another exciting feature is that now you have the ability to open the mobile warbank straight from your currency module in Wunderbar. So if we hover the currency module, you can see that it shows the cooldown of it. And shift left click, you can summon the mobile warbank. So if I just shift left click, it summons up. Then if we hover again, I can see that the cooldown is two hours. Now do note that while you're looking at the tooltip, the cooldown is not going to update. But the next time you look at it, it's going to be updated. So Right now we see uh, 119.54 and now we see 119.43. And the last new feature, we have added additional scaling to the uh, group finder frame. So if I open Sox UI, go to the plugins, additional scaling, and in the retail only section, you can see the group finder. So we can increase it, decrease it as we like. this patch we have only one small bug fix and that was the uh, fix of duplicating armory attribute icons uh, we saw that bug in the armory video uh, now that uh, should not be happening anymore for the profile updates we have some texture updates so firstly we've updated the default gradient mode textures to tox ui so you will notice that your uh, unit frames are not as flat as before. They have a, some sort of a, like a fade uh, shade to it. So I hope that looks better. And we also updated Omni CD textures to the same Tox UI texture. Also recently, Event Tools uh, added some new features like uh, showing your spec and race icon in the tooltip and also improving the context menu. Uh, in this case, the context menu is when you right click it, uh, when you right click your unit frame. Both of those features felt like uh, unnecessary bloat, so I immediately disabled them. And then for maintenance, uh, we of course uh, updated Plater mods. I would also like to remind that if you want to get your profile updates, you have to run the installer. So for example, if you want changes to LVI, in this case, update 1, 3 and 4, you have to run the ToxUI installer and select layout. For the update number two, for OmniCD, you, you obviously have to run the ToxyWine installer and set up OmniCD again. And for Plater mods, again, you have to run the ToxyWine installer and set up the Plater profile. We have a couple of documentation changes, so we have updated the descriptions and namings of some of the sections in the Skins tab. The new information should be more clear and understandable. Then we also added the Diamant and Tarball QC to the list of contributors. Sorry if, you, if I botched your names and uh, thank you very much for supporting me. We have also changed the default secondary hearthstone to Dalaran's hearthstone in Wunderbar. Uh, we have raised the internal max level to 80 for retail. Uh, what this means is now that, for example, the level tag is now show up again until your max level again. And lastly, we have increased the minimum required LVY version to 13.75. With this update come two fixes to ToxyY, two very important fixes actually. The first one is the volume module should now work on every single locale that's not English. 
and the currency transfer issue that we had for, for a long time is now fixed. Thanks to Simpy for cooperating with me and uh, helping me solve that issue. Then we've had some settings refactoring, so now when disabling action bars fade, we require you to reload your UI to properly unhook everything and avoid any potential issues. And we also disable action bars fade if LVI's action bar buddy is enabled because essentially it does the same things that we already do, so it's not necessary to have both of them active. Then we also disable additional scaling module if altruism is enabled to again avoid any issues with scaling. Then we've updated the changelog with the new Vintool string. Well, not new, but new for us. And you can see right here that the string matches what Vintools themselves have. Then we've updated the small logo of ToxyY, which is visible in the add-on screen. Here we go. I really hope that this looks better. I think it does. And lastly, we have added some information to the ToxyY classification tag description. So if I go to available tags on ToxyY, you can see at the classification description, we've added this line that this tag can be used only with the ToxyY font. If you change the font of the classification tag, then you're gonna see a golden or silver square. So yeah, you've uh, you've been warned. And lastly, a couple development improvements. Uh, we've added some extra information to people who are trying to use ToxyUI commands but do not have a valid ToxyUI profile. And we also added some more support for scales other than 1440p. In this case, 1440p, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And that is it for ToxyUI patch 679. I hope you enjoyed these changes. If you have any suggestions or find any bugs, please open a ticket on GitHub. And uh, see you in the war within.